Saudi Arabia's urban marvel construction of the line. As Saudi Arabia positions itself as a hub of global design and architectural developments, a wave of ambitious mega projects has already begun reshaping the kingdom's urban landscape. From futuristic zero gravity cities powered by AI to monumental cultural centers, luxury retreats amid ancient archaeological heritage sites, and expansive transportation systems. Saudi Arabia has been harnessing cutting edge design and visionary architecture to usher in a new era of progress and innovation. In this regard, a few months ago, the Saudi Arabian government unveiled visuals of a 500-meter-tall linear city named The Line, which will be built near the Red Sea as part of Neom. Set to stretch 170 kilometers across northwest Saudi Arabia, the megastructure, which will have mirrored facades, will be 500 meters tall but only 200 meters wide. The Line was designed as a dramatic alternative to traditional cities that typically radiate out from a central point. But just how will this ridiculously gigantic megastructure be built? Stick around to find out. Hear this, once complete, 9 million people are expected to live in and around the line more than any other city in Saudi Arabia. This translates into a population density of 265,000 people per square kilometer, 10 times denser than Manhattan and 4 times denser than the inner districts of Manila, currently estimated to be the densest urban neighborhoods on on Earth, the Saudi Arabian government recently released visuals of a 170-kilometer-long skyscraper as part of the Neom project. Announced by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the line is a reimagined urban development linking the coast of the Red Sea to the mountains and upper valleys of northwest Saudi Arabia. The compact structure, 200 meters wide, represents a social and economic experiment. The city aims to be zero carbon through the elimination of carbon-intensive infrastructures like cars and roads and will operate on 100% renewable energy, including the operations of its industries. The visuals reveal two parallel wall-like structures enclosing an open area between them. On the outside, the line will be clad in a mirror facade that provides its unique character and, according to its planners, a more subtle insertion in the natural landscape. The interior will be built to accommodate buildings, layers of public parks, pedestrian areas, schools, homes, and places for work. The concept is described as zero-gravity urbanism by its creators. Rising 500 meters above sea level, this structure would become the 12th highest skyscraper in the world and by far the longest. Despite an initial assessment of the mirror line predicting that the project could take 50 years, urban planners have been challenged by Prince Mohammed to complete the massive project by 2030. The planners include the U.S.-based Morphosis Architects and at least nine other design and engineering consultants. In October of 2022, drone footage released by an unknown aerial photography company revealed that construction had begun on the mirror line. In the video, excavators can be seen digging a wide linear trench in the desert. Fleets of bulldozers, trucks, and diggers are apparent in the video as well. Once the project is complete, a high-speed train will run under the mirrored buildings. To feed its residents, the project plans vertical farming integrated into the buildings. For entertainment, the mirror line plans a sports stadium up to 1,000 feet above the ground. It will also boast a marina for yachts and lies underneath an arch in the two buildings. According to Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the line is addressing a critical population crisis. He anticipates his country's population will grow from 36 to 50 to 55 million people by 2030 and says its infrastructure is at a tipping point. Planning for an increasingly uninhabitable planet, the project fantasizes about a dense, carbon-neutral city. Powered by a wind farm and harnessing the power of green hydrogen, the project touts water desalination and recycling technologies. Standing 1,640 feet tall, the line will be partitioned into modular neighborhoods that can be adjusted based on failures or user needs. Every module will house 80,000 people and will be connected via high-speed rail. The development will also host a central park suspended almost 1,000 feet above of the ground. The mirror line is one of a series of high-profile projects that make up NEOM, a development the size of Massachusetts conceived by Prince Mohammed to diversify the kingdom's economy from its reliance on oil. Owned by Saudi Arabia's sovereign wealth fund, NEOM wants to attract foreign investment and create thousands of new jobs. But raising significant foreign interest in cash has been challenging so far, with many Western countries and companies boycotting the kingdom and Prince Mohammed 
its de facto ruler over Riyadh's record on human rights following the killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi by Saudi agents in 2018. If Saudi Arabia succeeds in building it, the structure will be like nothing else in the world. It is already challenging the urban planners who are designing it. For instance, they are facing a 2030 completion deadline imposed by the prince's National Transformation Plan and must resolve many questions, such as how to manage the migration of millions of birds across corridors that the mirror line will intersect. The project aims to create 380,000 jobs and contribute approximately $50 billion to the domestic GDP by 2030. All of NIAM's ongoing projects are of great importance to Saudi Arabia's economy. Communities will be built around people rather than cars, resulting in a people-friendly, human-scale urban environment for all to enjoy. AI-enabled communities will learn and predict ways to make life easier for residents and businesses saving time. And although the project is offered as car-free, NEOM announced that it is working on a strong public transportation project to ensure this. Agreements have been signed by AECOM and Bechtel to develop an advanced transport infrastructure, making the line one of the largest and most complex infrastructure projects in the world. The Mirror Line is designed by the U.S.-based Morphosis Architects, founded by Pritzker Architecture Prize winner Tom Main, and involved at least nine other design and engineering consultants, including Montreal-based WSP Global and New York's Thornton Tamasati, among others. They propose building it in stages by creating 2,600-foot-long structures that will connect along a line with varying heights up to 1,600 feet higher than the Empire State Building. At the line's launch last year, we committed to a civilizational revolution that puts humans first based on a radical change in urban planning said Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The designs revealed today for the city's vertically layered communities will challenge the traditional flat horizontal cities and create a model for nature preservation and enhanced human livability, he continued. The line will tackle the challenges facing humanity in urban life today and will shine a light on alternative ways to live. The structure, which was designed to house 9 million residents when it's complete, will contain residential, retail, and leisure areas as well as schools and parks. Visuals show parks placed between the two linear blocks, which will be connected by multiple bridges and topped with more green spaces. It will be entirely clad in mirrored facades to give the structure a unique appearance. The line will have an outer mirror facade that will provide its unique character and allow even its small footprint to blend with nature, while the interior will be built to create extraordinary experiences and magical moments, said the Saudi Arabian government. A transport system running the length of the megastructure would be designed to connect both ends of the city within 20 minutes. According to the Saudi Arabian government, the structure will be entirely powered by renewable energy and will be designed as a sustainable alternative to traditional cities. Today, Saudi Arabia is undergoing a series of mega-projects to make the country a dominant global economic force. Through massive investments as part of Saudi Arabia Vision 2030, the kingdom is expanding its economy beyond oil, creating jobs and elevating its position as a key trade and tourism destination. The Saudi Vision 2030 is a comprehensive plan aimed at reducing the country's reliance on oil. It seeks to diversify the economy and improve public service sectors, such as health, education, infrastructure, recreation, and tourism. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman first announced the plan's initial details on April 25, 2016. The vision is built upon three pillars, positioning the country as the heart of the Arab and Islamic worlds, becoming a global investment powerhouse, and transforming the country's location into a hub connecting Afro-Eurasia. It is therefore safe to say that Saudi Arabia is the James Cameron of mega-projects, as Middle East ambition meets blockbuster scale. If you want proof on how grand these plans are, they are not called mega-projects, but giga-projects. So we're not just looking 
looking at millionaire dollar developments, but billionaire dollar ones. All in all, unlike other Arabian Gulf megastructures, the construction of The Line showcases the epitome of ambition and hopefully it'll come to reality. Hey, if you'd like to enjoy more of this fantastic content, be sure to subscribe to our channel, give us a like, share that video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates to our latest uploads.